Safety is your first concern during all phases of trailer operation. Do not load any payload that will overload any component of the trailer or result in an unsafe condition. It is important that the truck and trailer are parked in a straight line on a solid, level surface with the truck's parking brakes set and the trailer brakes released. Use the remote control or the axle control lever and trailer tilt lever to put an empty trailer in load position. Alternate between moving the undercarriage forward and tilting the bed up until the undercarriage is fully forward and the trailer's approach plate is firmly on the ground. Now slowly drive the load onto the trailer. Make sure the load is steering straight and does not run off the side of the trailer. Position the load center of gravity just ahead of the rear axles if possible. Do not put more weight on the pintle hitch than on the trailer's axles when loading. If the load was driven on, make sure the vehicle is in low gear and the parking brake is set before leaving the cab. Now activate the winch control and attach the winch cable to the load. Then pull the cable snug and continue to securely tie down the load. Check all chains and boomers to ensure everything is secure. Once the load is secured, place the trailer in transport position. During this process, it is critical that you control the trailer's center of gravity. If the load center of gravity is not situated in front of the trailer's rear axle, alternate between tilting the bed up and moving the undercarriage to the rear until the load center of gravity is in front of the rear axle. Keep part of the weight on the axles and part on the approach plate and never move the axles so far to the rear that the approach plate comes off the ground. When the center of gravity of the trailer and load is in front of the rear axle, alternate between lowering the trailer bed and moving the undercarriage to the rear of the trailer. The trailer deck will lower as the undercarriage moves into the roller pockets. Warning! Make sure the undercarriage is all the way to the rear of the trailer and the trailer deck is completely lowered before taking the trailer on the road. Caution! Do not run the truck engine above 1000 RPM when loading or unloading. Higher RPMs can cause the hydraulic oil to overheat and could damage the truck and trailer's hydraulic system. To unload, park the truck and trailer on a solid level surface. Set the truck's parking brake and release the trailer brakes. Using the axle control lever, move the axles forward until they are just behind the load center of gravity. Then raise the trailer bed until the approach plate makes contact with the ground. Now alternate between moving the axles forward and lowering the trailer bed. Keep the approach plate in constant contact with the ground during this process. Warning! Never move the axles forward past the load center of gravity unless the approach plate is on the ground. If the axles move forward of the load center of gravity, the weight of the load becomes concentrated behind the axles. Without support from the approach plate, the front of the trailer will want to rise up, potentially pulling the truck's rear axles off the ground. This could result in severe equipment damage and poses a serious risk of personal injury or death. 